people keep going on about these quantum things and Bitcoin. And yeah, I get it. It's scary when you first hear it. Like, is everything just gonna disappear one morning? Hard stop for a second, doesn't it? So let me just talk it through, plain and simple. No big words, no bullet points, just how I see it. And a couple of things most people still don't know. Bitcoin is basically this massive safe, right? Your coins sits behind a number so long, so random, that even if every computer on the planet guessed it for a million years, there'd still be nowhere. That's why nobody's stolen the whole thing yet. Normal computers have to try one guess after another, after another. Takes, take forever. Quantum computers don't do that. They kind of try everything at once. Google just dropped Willow a few weeks ago and did a puzzle in five minutes. That would take the fastest classic supercomputer septillion years. That's a 10 with 24 zeros right behind it. Longer than the universe has existed. A million times over, you hear that and you think, okay, we're done, we're doomed. But here's the bit they live out when they scare you. Well, it's still tiny. 105 physical qubits. Right now, the best labs, Google, IBM's, Quantinium's, are only managing 20 to 50 logical error corrected cubics in real demos. That's the keywords logical, the clean, stable ones that actually work. To run shell algorithms and crack one single Bitcoin private keys, the exact Bitcoin uses, the exact curve Bitcoin uses, set P256R1. The latest series estimates from the NSA. NISTs and cryptographers say you need roughly 4,000 to 6,000 logical, error, corrected cubics, not physical, logical. We're talking late 20s, maybe early 30s before anyone has a machine that can actually threaten a fresh address, maybe sooner if a nation state hiding something big. But that's where the public number sits today. Christmas 2025, and that's why you still got plenty of time, but not forever. You see, the quiet ones, the governments, the funds, they aren't waiting. El Salvador's already start moving theirs, not because they think it's tomorrow, but because they know tomorrow got no calendar. Same with BlackRock. You think they're holding billions in ETFs on a shaky keys? Nah, they are testing post-quantum signatures as we speak. Quiet Labs in Utah, in Tel Aviv, in Singapore. Not loud, not scared, just doing it. Satoshi himself, he knew. Back in 2010s, he wrote on a forum. Yeah, actual post. If there's ever a math problem, we change the math. No drama like changing oil, like patching your roof before it leaks. That's Bitcoin, it's always been there. It's why it survives Mount Gok, survived China, survived $17,000 drops, because it's resilient, not just any metal, not just any wall. It's titanium, it's diamonds, it's unbreakable when you build it right. But let's talk about the ones that won't win. The old ones, the sleepy wallet, Yours maybe, mine's maybe. That folder on your phone with the 12 word seats from 2015. The paper backup in your sock drawer, lovely, cute. Also exposed it. See, when you first spend from your address, your public key gets written on the chain. And the public keys, that's what Shaw eats, not the private keys. The public, and once it's there, it's there forever. Like a tattoo, like your drunk Facebook photo. So here's the gentle nudge. Whenever you're ready, maybe over the holidays, just slip your stack into a brand new wallet. No hurry, no pressure. Think of it as giving your money a fresh room. And while you're at it, do it every two or three years. Just once. Like changing your mattress. You never notice until it's gone. But once it's new, you feel it. Anyway, while we're here, real quick, if you got paper wallets from 2012, fold them up nice, tuck them in a drawer as a keepsake, and start fresh. And if you're one of those, but I got a tattoo on my keys, well, congrats. You're the first person in history who will have to get a new tattoo. But seriously, take your time. Do it when you're calm. Do it when you're calm. Because someday, 
you'll be sitting there. See a tweet. Quantum's wallet cracked it for 25 bitcoins. And you'll think, thank God I moved it because that could have been you. And the grandkids, they're asked, what even is quantum? And you'll laugh. Same thing as dial up ancient. Gone. Fixed it before we could walk. And that's powers. That's legacies. That's why we hold. Not for a pump, for the long game, for the day we can say, we knew, we moved, we lasted. And yeah, maybe I got a bit loud there. Let's wind it down. If you got old coins, old addresses, don't panic. Don't sell. Just take a breath. Grab your coffee. Do it gently. Send them over to a shiny new wallet. Let the old one retire. It's like changing your oil filter. Boring. But it keeps the engine running sweet. No rush. No drama. Just do it. And someday, when your kid asks why is their allowance never vanished, you'll smile and say, because I moved it before the storm and we slept sound. That's it. No apocalypse, no sirens. Just smart steps. Now go. Easy. Easy. Oh, and Merry Christmas, folks. Go enjoy the day. But still, Modus Coins.